it's not mine, it's somebody else's, but. <laughs> It's your girl Cindy. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. So today is Monday. I just finished working and I am on my way to get a facial. Um, I think the last time I got a facial was probably like a year ago. It's been a long time. And so I had some extra credits from ClassPass. So I decided to use it um, to get a facial instead because I'm going back to working out at home and so I have some extra points left over that I haven't used so figured I would get a facial and decided to do one today so that's where we're headed okay so I'm keeping it very very casual because um, I'm headed to Target afterwards I have a few things to pick up from uh, I think it's like the curbside and I have a couple things to return because I got a new hair product and I really didn't like it. So I'm going to return that. And then for some reason they duplicated my order. So I headed to Target afterwards. But for my outfit today, I'm keeping it simple. I have this top from H&M along with this belt here. This is like a leather belt. And these shorts are from Zara. They fit perfectly. I actually don't need to get these tailored, surprisingly. Um, the belt helps just a little bit because it's a tiny bit big at the waist, but I don't feel like it's worth getting them taken in. And then I am pairing it with these mango sandals and my Coach Cassie 19. I shared this in a, another vlog, and so I'm wearing it today. And I'm gonna do a full review on this bag along with the other things that I've gotten. Um, which you guys might have already seen and if so I'll link that video, but there's a lot in here There's a lot that fits in here as you guys will see um, So I'm wearing that because just wanting to keep it very simple today and then I have my Louis Vuitton bandeau on because I really didn't secure this wig because I Figured I'm gonna get the facial and I'm gonna take this off. So I just kind of threw this on just to secure it for now Okay, real quick before I leave I just picked up an Amazon order do I see anything in my back trunk my back seat it's because I am going to be donating some stuff and then also I have those things I need to return but what I got from Amazon I got some glass straws because for some reason I don't know if it's because I put them in the dishwasher or what but I've also had these for so long that a lot of my glass straws just like went missing or they're broken so I bought these they come with two bended ones and two straight ones and they also come with a brush here to clean them. So I got a few more of those. I literally don't know what happened to my other ones. I did pick up two books, but only one of them is here so far. So this is the Gratitude Diaries. It is how, to, how a year looking on the bright side can transform your life. I actually saw this book recommended from The Chic Natural on YouTube, and so I decided let me give it a try. And actually, lately I've been writing out what I'm grateful for every day in my planner and I've been writing like three or four things that I'm grateful for and I gotta say it really does make you appreciate things more and I feel like because I'm putting that grateful energy I feel like more blessings are coming my way so I've been enjoying doing that so I figured this book might be helpful um oh my god I really hope this isn't broken because there's glass in here I got a set of Oh, it's like stuck in here. Okay, I got a set of eight glass bottles here um, because I don't know if you guys have seen in my other vlogs, I've been making infused water with fruits in the morning and I have like three, I have four um, plastic ones that I got from Target and I just find that over time it kind of wears down and I'm trying to utilize more glass in terms of storing things, so I decided to pick up the pack of eight. Um, these are 16 ounces each, so this is great um, because once I fill them up and I can just drink them throughout the day because I really need to drink water and my water intake is not the best right now. But I'm going to head over there. Good. Thank you. Do you do um, a regular skincare at home? Yeah, I try to like do my entire skincare routine every day and then on Sundays I'll do like steam and a facial but not I mean not all the time though. Oh good. I Is try this to. okay? Yep. Alright. Perfect. You have gorgeous hair. Thanks. 
It's not mine, it's somebody else's, but. <laughs> Girl, mine too. Are you comfortable? Yeah. Ears? I might just have to flip this ear. Okay. Yeah. So it's that fine. one, that one's good. What this is doing, we did put some serums in the water as well. Mm -hmm. So it's working with the serums to deep clean your skin as you can feel the water going into it. Mm -hmm. It's sucking and like washing it out. That's like the best way I can describe okay. it. So it takes off um, any dead skin that we may have, um, any makeup if we don't take it off properly. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, it's also hydrating you as well. Okay. There you go. Oh man. <sighs> My face feels so good. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I can't wait another year to get a facial. <laughs> Hey guys, so I am back from getting my facial. How does my face look, guys? I gotta say, this was probably the best facial I've had ever. Like, amazing. I love the customer service. I love the facial. Just everything. And, like, <laughs> I can't believe I freaking forgot her name, but one of the estheticians has such high energy. <laughs> She was so funny. She had a um, she made me laugh the entire time, but I am loving how my face looks guys So I had some extractions. That's what you'll see here with my face like this. I had some extractions um, They also did this UV or red light because it's supposed to help with inflammation and then um, She did kind of mix a couple of serums together um, to help with the acne that I've been getting um, vitamin C and then there was one other ingredient that was in there, but I forgot but she said overall my skin is pretty good I might just need to um, Continue with my, the skincare that I do at home and then she recommended that maybe once a month Maybe once every two months going in for a facial would be good. I don't know if I'll be keeping up with it um, right now I should have looked at their prices because I had the pricing from class pass because has some um, credits left over so I should have looked at their pricing but it was really it's such a really good time I really really enjoyed it my skin feels really nicely it feels really smooth um, and she did say that these extractions are gonna like the scarring's gonna go away and my skin should be smoother and then so like as you know I'm talking to her and everything and we were kind of just going over some of the services that they offer there they do offer laser removal and hair removal and I've never tried laser before so they did um, offer me a complimentary laser removal for my armpit so I'm gonna go check that out on Saturday morning um, so that should be cool I'm excited we were gonna do it today but I just have too much hair <laughs> TMI I'm all showing my armpits <laughs> but she said I have too much hair so I'm gonna have to shave Friday night before I go but I'm excited. I think that'll be fun. I've never had laser removal before and it looks so smooth. And um, she was saying that the kind of like discoloration that you get underneath your armpits is due to shaving and irritation. So maybe that'll help. Um, but right now it is like 540. Although I don't want to go to Target because I'm really trying not to spend, guys, it is hot. And it's kind of muggy today because 
it rained but you'd be so proud of me I did not spend anything else that I didn't need so I got I did get two creamers because I really like the Starbucks uh, macchiato ones the caramel and hazelnut and every time I go to Target is always sold out so I did get one of each got my paper towels returned the items that I didn't need and so now I'm headed home I'm gonna make dinner tonight I think I might either make quesadillas or I might make lasagna it really depends on my mood Wednesday so today's Wednesday I am done working and I'm going to get my eyebrows and lashes done today is literally the same thing I wore the other day because um, I just didn't really feel like changing much so I have on don't mind my bed I took a mini nap <laughs> during my lunch break today but I have this top from Zara it's striped I have no bra on because I'm trying to do the whole like no bra commando thing We'll see how that goes and i'm wearing the same belt and shorts and then these are my zara like house sandals but they're comfy and i'm gonna wear them out today um so yeah it's pretty much a fit and then i'm gonna wear my cassie 19 for my handbag honestly it's giving me like 80s librarian look for some reason 80s 70s something like that <laughs> i'll see you guys then <laughs> So it's the Laura Raff Art Gallery and every like now and then on Thursdays they have these like little kind of like happy hour and they have an art exhibit showcasing like new art that's going to be on display so I'm going today. But I just got this recently and decided I'm going to start using this. This is the um, Rose Dehyd Deep Hydration Oil Infused Serum. So it's like a good blend of like oil and water. Put a little bit on my hand and then I like to massage that and then apply it all over so um I did get a new wig today because I don't know I was missing the curls a little bit so I decided to bring back the curls I like to switch it up and so 
I was browsing online on YouTube, searching up like curly units and curly wigs and there's this one YouTuber, I forgot her name right now, but she does a lot of wig reviews and she does a lot of curly wig reviews. And so um, I clicked on her channel because I used to wear a lot of straight units, but I realize now I feel like curly units just for me look better um, and they're easier to deal with because all I have to do is literally just spray it with water and add some mousse or um, in the shower, just wet it, especially since it's hot here. So it's easy to just like do. So I've been doing that, but I did pick up some new things from Sephora. Um, I will link my Sephora haul video. Like I mentioned, I think I only had a few other items that I ordered because I am on a no buy for the month of August. So far we're doing so good. Haven't bought anything that I didn't need in terms of like um, makeup, clothes, clothes and things like that. So, but I did already order these before the no buy. So I love using the, um, youth to the people this is the kale green tea spinach superfood cleanser here and you can tell there's not much left in here so i decided to just um, get the refillable size this is a 16 ounce and then this is a eight ounce so i decided to just get the refillable and just pour that in there and have this because i use it every day morning and night so i figured having a big refillable size probably a little bit better in terms of cost per use and then i have been looking for a cleansing bond because before i used to use this neutrogena makeup melt um, to remove my makeup or i would use another micellar water but i just feel like i wanted something to remove my makeup a little bit better and so i uh talked to my good friend mena and she had recommended that the oat cleansing balm here by the ink the ink the in key list key list i don't know <laughs> but i got this cleanser here i did use it um this just now because i wear makeup in the morning for work so i just did just remove that and it did a really good job of removing my makeup actually which was nice and then so for makeup i decided to try two new makeup um so the first one is the nars this is the soft matte complete foundation here so i have tried nars before it didn't work for me because i couldn't find my shade and i felt like it was a little bit too oily for me so i know that they have the soft matte decided to give this a try i got the shade medium deep 3.3 caracas um because that was what was closest to me when i did the skin match and then I also got Lawless Conceal the Deal. This is a uh, concealer here because my Fenty is pretty much done. It's like nothing in this one. This is my go-to. This is the Fenty one, but there's like nothing in there. Um, so I decided to try something new. So I got the shade Coconut Sugar because the other one that I, I saw looked a little bit too red where this one has a little bit more of a cool, neutral. Um, so we're gonna give this a try today on our makeup. But first I'm gonna prime my face using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This is my go-to. So I'm going to apply that now. I really love how this just kind of like gives my skin a nice smooth barrier before I apply makeup. So brows are filled in. I'm going to try the foundation now. So I'm gonna use a like kabuki brush. It's kind of dirty, <laughs> don't mind that. I need to clean my makeup brushes. I actually just got these makeup brushes from Amazon. I think I featured them in another vlog. So I'm just gonna shake this up. I don't know if I need to shake it up, but then let's see. I hope this color matches, please match. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. It might actually, <laughs> let me not speak too quickly <laughs> because I feel like I have one side that's a little darker than the other, so let me not speak too, too quickly here. Okay. I mean, in terms of like warmness, I feel like it's very true to that. It might just be a little light, maybe just a tiny bit. The thing is like, I have a really 
deep tan at the moment because I sat out in the sun um, a few weeks ago. So I have a really, really nice tan. And I feel like this is looking a little bit more yellow. Let's see. They say it's supposed to match your neck. Like I am not a makeup person, guys. Like I know how to do my makeup. It's funny though, because back in the day I used to do makeup tutorials. Um, like, you know, just for fun. Um, and I used to do like my friend's makeup and stuff. Like if they were going somewhere, I'd offer to do their makeup. So I'm more like a self-taught person, so. But like, I don't know all the terms and stuff. Okay. Yeah. I feel like it's probably like, maybe a shade just too light or is it like too yellow maybe? Because I think my undertone is neutral or like neutral warm. And I feel like this might be just a little more yellow. So in the winter time, it probably would work for me, but because in the winter time, my, I feel like you could see the um, the more yellowness in my skin, but looking a little light. So the shade, although the shade doesn't work, I feel like um, in terms of application, this is very easy to apply. It felt very nice, very smooth. Feels very like velvety on the skin as well. And then touching my skin, it feels nice and soft. It does transfer a little bit. Um, but that's maybe because it has a time to like dry down fully. So maybe if I just wait a little bit. And then sometimes I've noticed with certain foundations is that it like oxidizes. So maybe right now it's a little bit yellow, but maybe later on it'll oxidize and be a little bit more warmer because sometimes I have noticed that certain foundations do that. So I'm hair, makeup, and all that is all done. So for my outfit today, I am wearing this dress. This is from H&M. Really love this dress. I actually have it in pink as well, but the black and white, really love the pattern here. Adds a nice little bit of texture. And so I am wearing that with my Cassie 19 um, here. I decided to take out the other strap and wear the longer chain strap here. Um, just add a little, little something here. And for my shoes, I have these shoes from JLo here. Really love them. The pop of gold really kind of connects everything together here. Lastly, for fragrance, I decided to wear my Valentino. This is Donna Born in Roma. So I'm going to head out. I will see you guys there. I'm a very kind, you know what I like when it comes to you. I'm not trying to make you be mine. Taste, it just feels like one of those nights. Oh yeah, I got the love. So tell me why I forgot to put deodorant. I'm sweating like crazy. Oh shoot, I think he's calling me. Hello?
Hey guys, so we just went to the art gallery, um, as you guys can see. So Key and I are gonna have some dinner because we're both starving. There was only <laughs> drinks there. So say hi to the beauties, Kay. Hey. <laughs> I know you guys haven't seen her in a minute, but today we're hanging out. So we're gonna just kind of grab something to eat here. Ooh, the lighting is Ooh, okay. I, okay. <laughs> I told you let's give me, with the Give me what it needs to give. <laughs> the trees in the background is it's a whole like vibe. I really like this pattern too with the mm -hmm. I'm glad this thing is light. Yeah. Because it's hot. Honestly, also depends on how much you want to drink. So I feel like I like sometimes I like wine because you know the alcohol like you're getting. Mm -hmm. But then cocktails, it could be whatever the yeah. bartender feels like that day. <laughs> Saturday so it is Saturday morning it's 8 a.m. oh my gosh I just put a battery in it sound like it's gonna die oh. hold on I gotta change this battery okay what is up with my camera it says the battery is gonna die these are new batteries I'm so confused right now but I'm going to get my um, underarms laser today I think I mentioned earlier on in the vlog Hey guys, so I didn't end up getting laser anymore because I just got off antibiotics and I have to wait two weeks. So it's a little bit of a bummer, but I have to wait. So I didn't end up getting that done yet. And so I'm, I scheduled that for a couple weeks, but um, I am getting ready to head out. I have a couple errands to run. And then I remembered I bought this headband wig. I bought it a year ago, I want to say. And at the time I tried it and I didn't like it. I'll insert a picture. I think I have a picture of me trying it on. I didn't like it for a couple of reasons. The first reason, this like um band here it's too loose so i had to like tie it like do a little knot in the back to get it to lay and stay nice and tight and then i had to fold this over because this thing is so thick and i just felt like it looked weird so i folded it over so that it looks a little bit more like a true headband and then also um last year when i purchased this i didn't have as many like hair around my perimeter I had more hair loss and so I've been really consistent with keeping up with like my treatments and stuff and so the hair is growing back slowly I don't know if I'll get full um 100% hair growth but at least right here on the edges there's a little something there I mean yes you could see like I'm still suffering from hair loss but I feel like now it makes it look a little bit more realistic and lastly i have a big old forehead you know i got a tyra rihanna forehead and that was something i was kind of like a little insecure about i mean i still am like we all have our insecurities it is what it is but um i feel like now you know i can rock with it a little bit more so decided to wear this headband wig and i'm like wow okay i'm i'm loving it and i love the fact that like there's no um, spray or gel or anything touching my edges, really. It's just my hair. And I really like when I have my natural hair out or at least like the perimeter because when I apply makeup, honey, that thing be looking good. And I can actually wash my face and like get all up in here. So I'm loving it. Having a little moment here where I'm feeling myself a little bit, you know, alien superstar and all like Beyonce's new album. <laughs> Um, but I'm gonna just like get ready to go 
like I said, I don't know if I will vlog. Uh, maybe I'll vlog a little bit. Just a tiny bit. I'm like the queen of saying like, oh, I'm not going to vlog. And then I'll bring my camera and vlog. I'm just, I always do this. So we'll see. What am I get ready real quick? dressed and ready to go i have showed you guys a little bit of my makeup and getting ready so decided to put my louis vuitton bandeau on here just to add a little pop of color um and also because um it helps to kind of hold the wig a little bit more insecure in place so let me show you guys my quick outfit it's very very casual so i am wearing my favorite shorts jean shorts from zara here love these things so much and especially since i got them tailored they are a favorite and then i picked up this crop t-shirt from zara really like it because it's stretchy and it sits nicely on pairing it with this belt this is a leather belt from h&m um, with my Cassie 19, I decided to put this chain on here just to bring back a little bit of that gold detail, wearing some gold jewelry and my um, H&M sandals, like I mentioned these several times already. And yeah, so this is basically the completed look. I'm going to throw my Coach Sunnies on for a final completed look, but I really love this. Love wearing shorts and t-shirts and just everything that's like showing a little bit of leg because you guys know i'm short so i gotta show a little little something so that's basically it for fragrance today i decided to mix two of my favorites it's like my go-to um combination when i want to mix some fragrances this everything everything's a mess i need to organize it but i have the maison francis courage Baca rouge sink sun calent um this is the eau de Parfum. i've mixed that with the tom ford soleil blanc this is the eau de um or the parfum as well so i like mixing these two together um really love that scent so that's basically it i'm gonna head out i'll see you guys Not even me. 